guys, it's Brooke Eagle, and we are back with another Forsyth Magazine's podcast episode. And today I have some fellow podcasters with me. I have Audra, Daniel, and Lamar. They are with Legacy Podcast Studios, and I actually had the honor of being on their podcast a couple weeks ago, so I invited them to come on mine. So here we are. What's up, guys? Hey, everything's up. We're so happy to be here. Yeah. Thanks. Which I love your outfit, by the way. You just look adorable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I took a lot of thought. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's important. It is. You're on camera. I know. And I watched your podcast to see what the camera angles were to make sure that it would work. <laughs> She's prepared. She came prepared. I'm I like it, Audra. You. So I want to talk about how the three of you are connected and how the podcast got started because you guys are on episode, what, 15 14 15? Yeah, 15 i think we have 17, 17 now, in, the, in the they're in the can okay yeah. so. in the can in the can, <laughs> yes. in the can. Yeah. so you guys are have been doing it for a little while now but relatively new so i want to hear the story about why and how this podcast got started well so the first story is daniel and i uh have a photography business adams lane photography and so last year we moved from a small studio here in Winston to a larger studio in Kernersville downtown in a historic part in a building there. And it is just a beautiful space. And we just, this they, there was this room off to the side and we were like, we always want to do a podcast. Um, we, we didn't have any direction for that. And then lo and behold, Lamar, who is my brother-in-law, he moved up here a year ago and about seven months into his stay we all started just talking about podcasting and some great ideas and he had seen it work where he had come from from south louisiana and so he had a direction and then we all kind of have our strengths in that and we were like why not we have we had the space so the build out kind of just started and you you've been there it's and you beautiful see yeah what we've kind of done so i think we've meshed together all of our um talents as far as lighting and our experience in photography and media all together and hopefully our personalities yeah. to be to learn how to interview people i love it yeah you guys, you got to add to it. You can't let Audra do all the I talking. Know. Well, I know. She just does a lot of talking. And, and, you know, it's like, where do you jump in? So, um, yeah, I mean, she said it all already. What do you want to? Like, well, oh, tell her what on, you're, Daniel. I mean, oh, good Lord. Well, it's just, I don't know. How do you, how do you talk about all the things you do? I, I got a laundry list of, oh. the, you know, the different um, You're the behind the scenes yeah, guy I, I on the podcast. Part, for sure. That's the first thing you said. Yeah. I'm not getting. Yeah. I'm not getting in front of the camera. <laughs> so you'll yeah. hear us refer to Daniel every making, episode because he's over there, and we're like, "Right, Daniel," just to make him have to <laughs> he's like, answer. Yeah, yeah. 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 he did. <laughs> It's always asking questions when you don't have a microphone in mind. You're just shouting across the room. Yeah. You know. But Lamar just he. You know, he's been. I, I love the podcast. Yeah. I, I think it's a great thing because I saw it work in a couple of our businesses back in South Louisiana, and uh, it captured some things. I, I was like, man, this is really neat. And so being able to collaborate with these two, because I know their skill set, I've seen it at, at work, and said, man, if we could put all this together, we could probably produce something that would be real meaningful yeah. and so it's been fun to watch the whole process even even daniel but, but i mean so much talent brought to the table uh and it, and a lot of things i didn't understand or realize and i'm just like wow i'm, I'm just amazed and, and i know her personality and talent especially with interviewing and, and being able to, being able to pull out of our guests mm -hmm. the things i was wanting to see pulled out in that conversation yeah i, I call I, that sometimes been... pulling blood from a turnip <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah every once in a while everyone I mean. yeah and that's yeah, tough. yeah depending on the guests for sure <laughs> some yeah some are easier than others yeah absolutely you know, that is so true most i get pretty lucky most are great but i've had a couple where i'm like oh no thank you pod decks <laughs> it's like this is not a yes or no question this is supposed to give us like three minutes of talking exactly <laughs> and they're like uh-huh Yep. That's when I just stop all together. Just stop, and yeah. they're like, and you know it's because they're nervous. <laughs> tell, like, tell us about the best time that this happened. 
it, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> it was last Tuesday. Yeah. 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 Well, how did you feel about it? Mm. Good. <laughs> yeah. That's, I it's try like not to think about, about it too much. <laughs> How was your day? Fine. Yeah. Well, that's why it's cool to have a co-host. So yes. when I'm kind of like looking at him with the eyes of like, please have a question. Please. Help. You don't have to look. I can feel it. It just kind of, yeah. Like. She gives away. She gives that aura. Because much like this, we don't script ours either. Yeah. So I don't even want to talk about much before the camera starts rolling. Yes. We do the same thing. Yeah. We're like, okay, you're giving it all away before. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, hush, <laughs> quiet. Yes. We want to hear this when we're recording. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that's, that's well, I get yelled new... at about that too. Yeah. Yelled... She's just like, Shh, Shh. wait, wait. But there's also some things like you asked me one particular question yeah. ahead of time that I'm glad you asked ahead of time. Sure. <laughs> sure. So, yeah. so it works. Sure. Sometimes. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that very much. So Lamar, you're not always in the wrong there. Okay. <laughs> so what I've learned to do, and I've done this a long time. I have 4,500 podcast episodes under my belt. Wow. Um, that's why they call me the pod father. Um, but I did not know this. <laughs> yeah. I have done it longer than anybody in this area. I have the longest continuously running pop culture podcast in North Carolina, The Less Desirables. And uh, <laughs> so I have done a lot of that. Yeah. But we now, what we do is we just hit record. Yep. Before the theme song, all that stuff, we just hit record and let things happen. Sure. Because yeah. there might be something that we can throw in or play at the very beginning or, or whatever. But, or a blooper uh, at the yeah, end. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah, I and feel- even capture on the backside too, because yeah. we've done that too. We, we end up think we're done, and then like, oh, there's a couple of things I wanted to ask. I didn't want to ask on camera, but yeah, and then it's like the good stuff. <laughs> keep the yeah, cam- the guests open rolling. up. Like they yeah. get in there, and then when they think the camera's not on, then they they kind of open up. But I didn't know we were sitting in the presence of some podcast royalty yeah, over here. Yeah. <laughs> the Podfather, yeah, the Podfather. I have a few. insert theme song. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No horse, I can play that if you no want. Horses, yeah. No <laughs> horse heads great. anyway, right? I told yeah. them, okay. Tim, I told them the story when I went on their podcast of how this podcast got started, how I came on with Deetra to promote an event, and that I was so nervous, and that you just made me feel comfortable. And I'm like, and who was yeah. it that said... I said, you, said. you need a podcast for Forsyth Magazine. And I, and I couldn't stop thinking about it for the like next ever. day. You, you, well, you next day I sent you me an email. Day. I think I want to pursue that. <laughs> You're like, wow, that was fast. And, and, and I will always use her for my, um, uh, she's my winning story. From the first time she came in, she knew what she was doing. She owns a magazine, so she knows how to interview people. Yeah. Uh, which I don't like the term interview. I like conversations. Conversations. Yeah, um, for sure. Interviews are a little bit formal, and the conversation should be organic. But she came in, and everything was perfect from the first moment she opened her mouth. And we, and other than she did eight at a time. Oh, yeah, right. I told him that story, too. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. So much. So after that, I'm like... After about three times, I'm like, Brooke, can we just pull that back? Can we not do eight Because Because after about the fifth time, she's like, who are you? (laughs) (laughs) What do you do? What's your website? (laughs) What's your social media? (laughs) As always, you can find. (laughs) Right. But but with doing four, like she does now, uh, and I'm sure yours is different because mine is more morning show style, so it's meant to be a little longer form. But hers being. Longer uh, business stuff generally is uh, 25, 30 minutes yeah. ish. Yeah. And, um, but she is just, she is my poster child for. Listen, <laughs> he's yeah. a proud pod father. Yeah. We've been I working am. together a long time. She's my star people. <laughs> so, guys, now that you're 15, 17 episodes in, what is something that's like, you were surprised at that you were not expecting to come from this process. I personally was not expecting to be um, so moved by so many of my guests. Oh, our guests. Tell me some stories. Who comes to mind? Um, So Fitz on Main is the first. It's a business right on Main Street in Kernersville that just had a fire, a devastating fire and burned down in it is um, had been operating in some capacity since the 1920s. Wow. And so the guy who took it over, um, 
they just came on there and they were just reliving um, that night and, and all that it had meant to him as a child going there as an ice cream bar and watching the baseball and everything. And I, I feel like, um, and they're rebuilding, but to just, we dove into places down to what his father was in World War II and, and I don't know, just it's intimate things. And he was so emotionally raw. Yeah. And he brought his right hand woman with him. And we just got to talking about why that place meant so much. And really what it came out of is because they're our friends and our community got to come together and and I miss them. Like we're rebuilding this, not because he needs money, but he misses the community. Oh, that's sweet. So um, that kind of has stuck with me. Yeah, more than anything. Yeah, great, great uh, community support for him. Yeah, and and their business, and yeah, very emotional. Right. Um, yeah, a, a podcast that that episode was. I think one of my, I, I know one of the early ones we did oh, was yeah, uh, Momo's chicken pies, Miss Julia oh, Brown. Yeah. So I saw her on social media because her name we were discussing different personalities and her name was brought up, and so I started kind of doing some research and watching her, and she's a firecracker. She I I love. It. I man, I can't wait uh, to meet her. <laughs> And, and hear her story. So, yeah, the personalities have been incredible. And truly the people end up being, like, we become friends. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, we're not just sitting here trying to get an episode out. It's truly, like, I care. I, I'm curious by nature. Yeah. And I really want to know. I want to learn. I want to I wanna know your why. Yeah. Why you're doing this business. Why have, have you sacrificed what you've sacrificed for it? What drives that? And then I also want to ask the other questions to gain wisdom for my, even my own self in my own sure. life. Because, you know, when people stop talking, things don't go well. The communication um it's the key. It is the key. And so... Well, it's such a cool fit to me, the fact that y'all have this photography business first and that you do these legacy photo shoots yes. with your photography business. And it seems like kind of the more I get to know you guys, it seems like a pretty natural fit to incorporate in a podcast portion because you're you're telling people you're showing people's stories through photography yes and then you're doing it through a podcast as well so i think that's pretty cool yeah i i that's my favorite part because uh, and again the, the the flagship podcast for us is small business leaders podcast so we want to capture the elements of operating a business and being an entrepreneur and all of that but in that is intertwined this amazing story yeah. that you get from that person and that to me, I, yeah, I want to get all the tidbits because we hear about the challenges and the, the positive things, but that story is just amazing. I know with your story, one of the things, and I mean, there was a lot of things we talked about, but you talked about when you were on the wakeboard in the lake. Yeah. And you just had that moment oh, where yeah, paddle boarding. I, need to, yeah. I need to sell my house. I need to move. And and so that captivated me because something happened, obviously, yeah. and it was very meaningful to you to make that decision and choice. And you move forward with it. And then you talked about the wonderful new community you moved in. You talked about the wonderful house. I remember how yeah. you expressed that. And you remember that. that because it was a story. It is. Yeah. And, and your stories. other business with the CrossFit. And yeah. so something happened on that wakeboard um, paddleboard yeah. that that's the story and mm-hmm. we were able to capture that and feel that with you I think it's really really neat so it yeah is. I love that that's very cool yeah you guys are, are so great at pulling information out of people and pulling the stories out because that takes talent like it's you know it, it, everybody can't do that so well, that's natural for her <laughs> yeah. all her sitting there <laughs> Well, like she said, she is curious by nature, sure. and when you are, and when if if you allow yourself to become jaded or let just too much indifference set in, then you don't get that. Right. Uh, with the less desirables, yes, we talk about the businesses we bring in, but at the same time, I don't. I do care about the businesses, but that's not the the, you care about the, the, person. the, the person because yeah. I am more 
likely, as we all are, to go to a business or go to an event or do something with a fundraiser or something if I know the person. Right. I, I, I will I will tell people about my friends before I tell them about just somebody I randomly know. True. So, yeah. so yeah. if I get to know that person, the listeners will get to know yeah. that person and they're more likely to get something out of that spot on the less desirables. Yeah. yeah. And it's not just having them on the show, too. It's, it's going. Uh, Julie Brown, Mama's Chicken Pies. Mm-hmm. I've been to her restaurant, to her store. I've met her daughter, her granddaughter, that, that part of their story. I've gone there a couple of different times. I know they we, have as we, well. Yeah, we bought the chicken pies to have for Sunday dinner. Oh. So, you know, we're not just saying, oh, come in here. We really are forming those connections yeah. and um, relationships are everything and too with podcasts and photography and anything like that um the listener feels so attached to you like there's so many like you you feel like you know somebody already by the time you've listened to them so when you visit them it's like oh i'm going to go visit my friend yes over that's here. so true and th- that that's good for business but that's just good for humankind yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> so Yes, as Bill and Ted would say, be excellent, excellent. to each other. Excellent <laughs> adventure. I love it. So, Lamar, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. So, you've been in Winston-Salem now for a year? One year. Uh, this week. Okay. Next oh, wow. Year. Well, yeah. happy one year. So, yeah. I always like to ask people this who are new to the area. What, what do you think? What do you think about Winston-Salem? What's the big difference you notice between Louisiana and Winston. Oh, the, I know the weather's a whole lot better. South Louisiana, <laughs> humidity is torture. <laughs> so I've been hearing friends and family back home talk about that torture, and it's been very pleasant here, yeah. which I really love that um, up here. Uh, the four seasons, we were able to experience that this last year with the league. I thought it was incredible. Oh, yeah, I mean, so it just popped to us yeah. because we don't see that um, in South Louisiana. I mean, we're in South Louisiana, so, uh, and I thought it was real funny just recently when the hurricane came came through the eye of it passed over where we're living and uh you know i moved out of louisiana to try to avoid that those the last hurricane we were in was just a couple of years ago it was out without power for 21 days at my what? home and it oh was, yes it, it was, was it was deal. miserable 21 days. Uh, 21 days without uh without power well, i mean we rigged it up I'd, I'd be moving too I mean, after I'd, that <laughs> yeah <Jeez. laughs> generators running and all that but yeah, <laughs> yeah but i love it up here it's just been a joy and now that we've made what about the food th- now the food is different <laughs> now, the food is good because <laughs> south louisiana food is quite amazing yeah you know, i've been sure. all over the place so yeah we we have found a lot of good restaurants here and uh was introduced to pho Mm-hmm. Did I say it right? Oh, there's yeah. a place downstairs. Yeah, I saw that coming up. What so. the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was like, I had that up for the first time up here, and I, our I did kids enjoy are that, very, they, Our kids show us stuff like that. because Yeah, they, college age. Yeah. <laughs> all of our kids, college age. Yeah. So, yeah, we're. So, I know y'all have lots of kids. Oh, my gosh. How many kids do you have? Six. And how many kids do you have? I have six. And Daniel has I have two. two. Oh, you're in the minority here. <laughs> just just okay. two. <laughs> you're an underachiever. <laughs> no, I know when that's two. I, was, I only have one. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting late in the game, so I think it might be one or none for me. <laughs> Unless it's twins, which, oh, oh no, Lord. that would be, that would be scary. <laughs> Do you have any twins? Or are they all, they're all? No, so we're, I'm blended. Okay. So um, ours are ranging from 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, okay. and a granddaughter. So, yes, um, I remember a picture of your sweet granddaughter. Yes, she's uh, so cute. She's precious. Uh, yeah, so, but now Lamar, it's, it's Mine are a blended. little bit blended, but uh, yeah, my oldest is in his 40s, and um, uh, youngest is 19. She's a student at UNCG. Okay. So, yeah. Any grandkids? Uh, yes, I have seven grandkids. Seven so, grandkids? Yeah, a good Goodness. mix of both boys and girls. I love yeah. it. What's your grandpa name? My grandpa name? What do they Mostly call you? Mostly Papa. They Papa? call you Papa? Yeah, most of the time Papa. Yeah. Mine is Lovey. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love that. How you don't do have any grandkids no, yet? Sir. Well, my, mine's 22. <laughs> Luckily, I have none yet, but I've already picked out the grandpa name whenever. Podfather? He, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You should try that, though. It is Ogo. Really? Oko. Which is short for 
Oh, great one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a feeling, that. like, do you like Star Wars? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I just, I've got that Yoda vibe coming off. Mm, yes. yeah. I love it. Yes. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit about the photography business because okay. y'all have been doing that for how many years? Seven years? Seven as a business yeah. incorporated. But yeah. Daniel and I have been working together for 30. So tell us about y'all's just history together briefly. Can you talk about briefly? that? Briefly? I mean, uh, it's brief. Yeah, it's, it's okay. So we... <laughs> How do you make 30 years our, brief? Our parents knew each other when before we were born. Okay. So we kind of grew up... You were forced to be friends. Well, <laughs> no. not really. Not really. Yeah. Because they were... My, my, my father was in the military, so we moved out of the state when I was young. And then her family, they all traveled and did their thing. Uh, but in the 90s, what, 89, 90, somewhere... Everybody kind of came back to North Carolina. Okay. Um, we moved back to North Carolina from wherever we were, and they came off the road from whatever they were doing. Um, and then we all kind of, I don't know, met after church or something one day. Yeah. And they came over to the house, and then after that, her her brother and I were, were really good friends. And then she and my sister were really good friends at the time, and... We just all started hanging out together after that, and then but, one well, thing led to another, yeah. and I started traveling with them. Okay. Uh, when they would travel with their family, singing and things, and we did that for a long time. Uh, yeah, I was full time on the road with my family, singing for thirty years. That's a um, long time. Yeah, and this and that was I stopped that fifteen, ten, fifteen years ago, yeah, something at least like that. Years Do you ago. miss yeah. it? Um. Not the way we did it. I miss the people. <laughs> but, I mean, I feel like we lived on a 35-foot bus with, you know, my mom, my dad, my brother, and my first husband. Um, so that that's, went well. That's a lot. Yeah. That's and, a lot. But what I do, I will say, what I do miss is the people. And even today, we, we're still connected. Um, we would travel all across this country. We would do West Coast trips in a 1960 4104 that we had converted. And, I mean, we traveled this country together with just a map and yeah. no cell phones. Since and we were probably uh, like 15, 16 years old. So That's cool. what that did and how that ties into photography is in that time our family was recording projects every year. We were on live TV segments. We were doing, you know, all the things. And as... Graphic design just was starting up really well. Um, Daniel began to, we you know, collaborate with us on CD designs, covers. Oh, yep. CDs, the good old days. CDs, good old days. <laughs> the good old days. And yep. so Daniel and I just naturally fell into a collaborative place on that, and we just never stopped. And so we made it official seven years ago. And it's not that uh, he's amazing. We, at his part, and I don't want to do his part, and I feel like that I do my part well. Oh, yeah. And we each could stand on our own, but we're just better together. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So, That's yeah, very cool. We we love to tell people's story. That's why I am curious. Um, of, of Well, we've sat in so many places where all the older people talk around us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, being on the road, being kind of... I don't know, subject to what everybody else is doing at the time because you're not you're at home, yeah. right? You're just out <laughs> with the people that you're here around and you're just part of the conversation. So you're kind of just listening to what's going on. Being younger than everybody else when we were kids, we were kind of just forced to Listen hang in. out. You know? Listen and yeah. learn. So I think that kind of <laughs> Matured translated us, yeah. into our lives as we grew up and and because we were so free on in a way on the yeah bus, we did a lot of growing up from the ages of what 15 to 25 right a lot a lot and but what the other thing that i would say that i think translates now into our work is we never knew there was a limit because we never had limits on us um creatively and yeah. that's how we still feel we don't look at a things in a box um yeah that's you have probably, that creative mindset yeah we're not yeah. a very that's not good marketing strategy obviously <laughs> business wise but it's just who we are and we can't get away from it so we're going to celebrate it yeah i think that's great you you shouldn't put yourself in a box i mean that that doesn't work for a lot of people yeah i, I think I, as an outsider because i'm not a part of that 
element of what they do, but they have an amazing skill set. And I'm just not I'm not saying that because I'm related, but I've seen that work. We they did some work for us in uh, businesses my wife and I own. And it was just freaking amazing. So th- they have an awesome skill set yeah. and talent that that is rare. I, I haven't seen that. And and they I know for us we're able to capture some things that uh, were were a big help and I was thankful for. So that they've got a talent and skill set, I, I think second to none. Yeah. And I, I feel honored to be able to at least share a space w- with them on the on the podcast side. But their photography is amazing. And you saw some of that and talked about that. Oh, gosh, legacy, it's beautiful. The podca- not the podcast, but the, the portrait part of that right. is yeah. just... We're going to do an article about that. I can't wait. Yeah. That's so cool. I'm very excited. Well, our time is already almost up. I, we got to have a part two with you guys. <laughs> I have for real. Because <laughs> I know Anytime. everybody, we like to chit chat. So we'll have to do this again. Yes, but where, absolutely. tell us where we can, uh, our listeners can find y'all's podcast and your photography studio. So, Legacy Podcast Studio, that's it. That's our website. That's all the handles on Facebook and Instagram, um, Apple, Spotify, TikTok, all of those places. YouTube. YouTube. I always. Every time. The most important one. (laughs) Yeah, YouTube. Um, Yeah, that's there. And then for our photography, it's adams-lane.com. And you're able to see our portfolios and what we have to offer there. Awesome. Well, it was so much fun to be back on this side of the mic. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Talk to y'all. And yeah, we'll do it again soon. Y'all be sure to check out Legacy Podcast Studio and Adams Lane Photography. And as always, you can find Forsyth Mags online, ForsythMags.com. You can find us on Instagram at Forsyth Mags. And if you enjoyed this episode or if you've ever enjoyed an episode of ours, we would encourage you to leave us a rating or a review. We would greatly appreciate it. And that's a wrap for today. The views and opinions stated on this podcast are solely those of the contributors and not necessarily those of our distributors or hosting companies. This podcast is copyrighted and cannot be reproduced without expressed written consent of Forsyth Magazines Incorporated. Ooh, that's a mouthful.